All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today's video is gonna act as a little bit of a reality check for those of us growing figs in humid places, rainy places. Figs are just not really meant to be grown in these locations, guys. Uh, the fig is so highly subjected to the current conditions, the current weather conditions in which it is actually ripening. In that final ripening stage, you can see here, I have a fruit, a number of fruits ripening on my trees where they're turning color they're getting larger, they're getting um, sweet and edible. If there's a lot of rain or even cold weather, we're gonna have terrible quality figs. The rain specifically gets absorbed in even higher humidity levels. That moisture gets absorbed into the skin of our fruits. And the more water we have in our fruits, the less sugar content typically, because that sugar then is diluted. And now we have a lower bricks, we have a lower bricks content, the quality's lower, we see a lot more fermentation, mold, spoilage, and then all comes in, the fruit flies, the wasps, the beetles, everything comes in to just attack the fermented, rotting fruit on your trees. And it's just terrible. It's so heartbreaking to see, and I'm really sorry that a lot of you guys in the Northeast, especially here in my location, this has probably been the worst September I've ever been a part of the worst weather we could have asked for out of any year I've been growing figs. And it really was from September 1st to October 1st. But now we're kind of getting over that and I'm hoping we're getting some drier weather. Today finally the sun came out, it's 80 degrees, it's gonna be dry for a bit. And so these figs will dry out, um, they'll continue to ripen and if the weather continues in the current conditions to be good, well then I'll still get nice fruit quality. And I'm definitely gonna get some nice figs. The season's definitely not over. I still have some Moro de Caneva back here. Still have a little bit of Bar Malone. I got a ton of Ron de Bordeaux over there, some green Michurinska. Um, but this month, I think, has really sent a shock into the system of a lot of you guys, a lot of newer growers. This is just what we deal with here. Um, in humid places, we have to grow varieties that can withstand the humidity and the rain or avoid it. And those are the two options that I've learned over the last eight or nine years or whatever it's been of me growing these varieties and trialing hundreds of different varieties. I've spent thousands of varieties. I've put so much time into this, guys, to learn this simple truth that unfortunately I think I just have to remind everybody about. I know it's sad, but we have to do one of those three things. Actually, there's three, three options that we have. One, we let them stay on the trees as it's raining and hope that they get through the rain and come out on the other side and still ripen at a higher quality. Those are varieties like Celeste. They have uh, a skin that's able to, instead of absorb the water into the fruits, actually shed the water. Uh, things like Smith, Verdino del Nord, Neruccio de Elba, uh, Moro de Caneva, Verlino, there's so many of these varieties that uh, I have over the years. I've put together a list on my blog. Check it out there, guys, figboss.com. There's a list of these really rain-resistant varieties that you should be growing in these locations. Because the big names, uh, you know, the expensive trees, the expensive varieties, the crazy flavor profiles that you might find in figs, it's just unrealistic in these places. We're just not going to ripen a high quality black Madeira consistently. And it's just this heartbreaking to have to go through your trees and, and remove all these rotting, fermenting figs. And I got a whole bucket over there. I've had multiple buckets now. I've probably thrown out 250 figs in buckets, probably maybe more than that. Um, and I just, they were inedible because of that. So it's, um, that's one option. The second option there is instead of getting them through the rain and hoping that they withstand it, you choose varieties that fulfill either one of two requirements. The first requirement is you pick them, of course, before the rain. So the one requirement is you can have varieties with a short hang time. What that means is they have a genetic component that allows them to ripen quicker on the tree. The more the figs hang on the tree, the better they're gonna taste. But if they're on the tree longer, and there's a lot of rain and humidity, that's gonna destroy them. So we wanna ripen them before the rain. And so varieties that ripen quickly, like Little Ruby, Campaneri, 
uh, so many other varieties I've mentioned before in the past, these have the ability to actually produce a higher quality fruit in less time than the other varieties do. So that's one option. The other option is you could actually pick some figs underripe before the rain. And the problem with that is though, a lot of varieties, the overwhelming majority of them don't taste very good underripe. And that's why when you get them from this grocery store and they're shipped across the country, they never taste good. But there are about four varieties I would recommend that actually taste pretty good underripe. There's Dotado, AKA Peter's Honey, Cadota. Uh, there's also the Adriatic figs. Uh, Mala Vermella is a new one that I discovered this year that I, I believe fits that category. And then also there's Italian 258 that uh, a lot of other growers would recommend. I'm not exactly in that camp, but those are the options. So, you know, growing figs in these humid places, guys, it can be difficult. It's heartbreaking. We've had a really bad year. Really every year has something like this. It's never necessarily perfect, but uh, you could still ripen high quality figs as I do here every year. Uh, you just need a little bit of luck, a little bit of good weather and the right variety. So there's some hope for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, support what we're doing here. The whole mission of me growing and, and trialing all these different varieties is not just for me, it's for you guys as well. Please hit that like button as well. We'll see you guys for the next video. Take care.